Hello YouTubers and welcome to the official Aspire review channel on YouTube powered by AspireSig.com. Today we're going to be doing a really special tutorial review and it's just going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your Aspire Play-Doh device. Now what is special about this firmware? Well, it allows us to personalize the logo on your Aspire Play-Doh device. So basically the boot up text, text, you should be able to see the boot up text when we power this unit on. So it says Pluto World. And so in this uh, tutorial, we're going to show you how to change it to something else. So before we get started, though, I want to remind you guys to like our video. Also, subscribe to the official Aspire re review channel. And with that, let's get started. So uh, we do have a tutorial, and there will be a tutorial download link inside of our YouTube video description. So uh, as we can see, in step one, it's uh, just opening up paint. And uh, we're going to make a grid, a paint area of 96 by 32 pixels. So the paint is in your start, Windows start uh, menu, and you just open that up. And we've actually already opened up paint. And in our, t in our written tutorial, we actually uh, have A, B, C, D, E. So um, we're going to do something a little bit more interesting th in this review. So uh, step one, we go to view tab and uh, make sure that these three boxes are ticked and uh, we want to actually be able to enlarge this so we're going to zoom in and we can see at the bottom here it says 96 by 32 pixels and now uh, let's uh, go to home and then uh, open up the keyboard and one thing about uh, creating this uh, this, this logo text is uh, is that it should be centered inside of the middle of the grid. So we're going to say uh, what? Plato Vapes. Okay, so once we type this in, now we want to move this to the center of the grid. And uh, now we save it. So uh, we can save it here. Now I'll save as a bitmap or BMP picture. And so we're going to put Play-Doh Vapes. As you can see, we've uh, created several uh, different uh, boot up logos. Now one thing about the logo, another thing about the, uh, the, the boot up text or whatever is that if you have uh, like skills inside of uh, Paint, then you can change the font and even add simple objects. So we want to save this file type as a monochrome bitmap. Click OK, and then we can uh, minimize that or close it. And then uh, we, in our tutorial, it actually shows us to uh, part two. We want to update the logo, so we want to go to the AspireSig.com website, and it's forward slash upgrade. So uh, here, I've already opened the Aspire website, and if you don't type in the URL, there's actually a download link at the bottom at the footer of, this, of the website. So we click that and on the left we have an upgrade section. Click that and this is the Spire firmware and so we want to, you know, it's going to be a, a brief description. So now this only supports Windows and uh, we click this download button and uh, we wait for this to download. Again, I want to remind you guys to uh, like our video, also subscribe. We will be uploading many more uh, tutorials and reviews to our YouTube channel, so make sure to, just to subscribe. Okay, now we just uh, open this up and we want to initialize the setup tool. It's going to install the drivers. Now the next uh, step, once it's installed, is uh, it's okay. Now it's finished. Okay. Now we want to uh, remove the battery from our Play-Doh device. 
then connect the Play-Doh to the computer via USB. So we're going to pop the battery out. Now this is the black cable that comes with the actual uh, Play-Doh device. So please try only, please only use the cable that comes with your unit. We tried it with some other cables and it didn't work. So uh, now we're going to plug this into our computer. That's going to be off screen. Then uh, we want to reinsert the battery. Okay, and now we want to go to our desktop. And uh, okay, in the bottom right, we're going to see um, it's, the upgrade has been successful. Let me finish that. And here is the. Uh, icon here so now we want to upload our logo so step one is we upload Pluto Vapes so we open that up update logo now if this bar turns fully green then hopefully uh, the upgrade should be successful so it has been successful and it actually powers on I don't know if you can see it it says Pluto Vapes so sometimes, this is a really important thing, because I've tried this many times today, and sometimes it will uh, say Pluto Vapes or whatever you, you want it to say um, automatically, but sometimes you have to actually unplug the unit and then uh, repower it on. So let's repower it on, and hopefully again you can see this, the boot up, the boot up logo. And it says Pluto Vapes. Okay. So yeah, and uh, another cool thing about the uh, Play-Doh is that it does have a rotatable screen or G-sensor. So that's another cool thing. Okay, guys. Well, that just about wraps up this review. Again, I want to remind you guys to like our video. Also, subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more tutorials. We're going to be doing a, a sh uh, showing you a lot more products, features, all this good stuff. So uh, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, so that just about wraps up this re review. Like our video, subscribe, and thanks for watching.